Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your first Google Cloud project. All right, so since we'll be doing in this video is uh, the first item is how to create your first Google Cloud project. And once we create a Google Cloud project, we'll create an OAuth 2 client account and download the client file. Uh, most of the Google API services now use uh, OAuth 2.0 protocols for authentication and authorization. And the last thing I'll show you is how to set up your OAuth 2 consent screen. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to console.cloud.google.com. And on the top, uh, you should see a drop down. And this drop down allows you to select different projects. If you are new to Google Cloud Platform, you shouldn't see any project is available. And what you want to do is you want to click on Create Project. You want to give our project name. So for this exercise, I'm just going to name my project uh, Test One. And click on Create. And the project creation process will takes about maybe twenty seconds to thirty seconds. And once the project creation is complete, you should see a notification uh, indicating the project is created. Right, so the next item is how to create an OR2 client account. Uh, actually, uh, this should be the last step. Uh, so right now, we need to create our OR consent screen. So to do that, we want to click on the navigation uh, menu. And you want to go to APIs and services and click on credentials. And on the top, click on create credentials. So here we have three options. We can choose if we want to create an API key. And for heavier security, we want to uh, use OR client ID. And the service account is used for more premium products, such as Google AI, Google Machine Learning, those type of products. I'm going to choose OR client ID. And because test one project does not have a consent screen, so we're going to click on configure consent screen. And I'm going to choose external. And I'm going to click on create. So under the application type, I'm going to choose public. And for the application name, I'm going to name my application JJ app. You can also provide your own application logo. I'm going to skip this step uh, since this one is optional. If you already know what APIs and scopes uh, this project is going to use, then you can uh, pre-assign the scope. Since I'll be using different Google API services, and I can always supply the scope in my script. And I'm going to leave everything else untouched. And I'm going to click on Save. And that's basically all we need to do to configure the OAuth consent screen. Now we can create our OAuth uh, client accounts. So I want to go back to the navigation menu and go to APIs and services and click on Credentials. On the top, click on Create Credentials. Then click on OAuth client ID. And you want to choose an application type. I'm going to choose desktop app. If you're not sure what application type to choose, you can always choose web application since I don't think it really matters uh, which application type you choose. Right, so I'm going to choose desktop app and click on create. Now I have created an OAuth client account and click on OK. And this is the last step. We want to download our client file. And to download your client file, select the OAuth account and click on the download icon. And that will prompt you to save the file. And I'm going to choose Save File. And here you can rename the file to something else. And for me, I always like to save my file as client, oops, client secret file. And click on Save. And that's it. So that's everything to it, to be honest. It's not very difficult to create and set up a Google project. 
If you are interested, you can check out my other tutorials focused on how to use different Google API services in Python. Right, so this is everything I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.